6,500 runners, 200 volunteers, and over 1,000 spectators are expected for Saturday's color run. However, what some may not know is that only a portion of the proceeds go back to charity. We're just, you know, happy to, to host them and um, get a little bit of the proceeds on the back end. The Color Run partners with a charity or organization in each city that becomes the beneficiary of some of their proceeds. Here in Amarillo, that organization is the Laura W. Bush Institute for Women's Health. And I thought, if it's that happy and that much fun, I want to bring it to Amarillo, so we invited them to come. The Color Run states on their website that they are neither a charity nor a nonprofit organization. They are considered a for-profit event management company. However, the company also says they have donated more than three million to charity since their founding in 2012. There are several means of donations, one of which is post-race donation, where the Color Run donates to the partner charity based on volunteers provided by that beneficiary. They use those nonprofits for volunteers. So the Institute is in charge of gathering up all the volunteers for this event. So this year we're going to have about 200 volunteers. And how they compensate us is based on the number of volunteers we provide them. Color Run representatives also say they tried to hire as many local people as possible during their time in the city to put money back into the community. We don't hide the fact that we're a for-profit company, but um, you know we, we're, we're here for three to four days out of the year and the economic impact last year was $1.3 million to the community. That's one of the beauties of Color Run. When they come into Emerald, they pay for everything. And so the beneficiary is not out anything. They pay for everything. The Laura Bush Institute received $31,000 last year from sponsors and volunteers. This year, they are expecting to receive $45,000 that will all go back to their missions and programs. Chelsea Goss, Pro News 7.